Cora Jakes Coleman comes from a prestigious family that in no way overshadows her own gifts and talents. Cora serves as the Executive Director of Destiny House Children's Ministry at the Potter's House of Dallas, where she's able to impact the lives of children and teach them the importance of Christ. She's not only a spiritual mother, she's also a mother to Amari and Jason, as well as a loving wife to Brandon. Her Fertility Faith blog has helped change lives. Her writing has encouraged women and families that are suffering from infertility. I am speaking fertility faith and speaking life into the infertile being so that we can begin to produce our dreams and produce our promises no matter what our fear is. Cora is a dynamic, down-to-earth preacher who captures God's heart with her prayers and inspires her audience to faith it with her pen, her prayer, and her platform. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cora Jakes Coleman. Good morning, everyone. I do hope that you have decided to start your Monday off with me because I have decided to start my Monday off with you. So what are we going to talk about today? We are going to talk about how you can make your Monday a Monday of success. So I'm going to give you three points that you need to have for today. The first point is don't worry about me, worry about you. When you go through life, what happens is you get distracted by the things that are around you. And so your Monday may not even be that miserable, but because everybody around you says Monday is miserable, all of a sudden your Monday is miserable. But if you would worry about yourself in this season, come on somebody and worry about you, then you wouldn't have to be connecting yourself to things that are not meant for you to be connected to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to worry about ourselves. Come on, look at your neighbor and say, don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Come on. Everybody? No? All right. Okay. So the second thing is prioritize your day to fit you in it. There is, there is a lot that goes on in life, whether you are a mother, whether you are single, whether you are working, whether you are not working, you need to take a moment to just take time for you, to have a moment in your day that says, this is for me. Make a moment in your Monday that brings about a message for you, where you can start to be a movement to the people around you, where you start to shift the people around you. You need to know that you're worth it, that it's okay to take time for you. You need to know that it is okay to love, to laugh, to live. In spite of the loss, it is okay to live. We were listening to service a couple Sundays ago and the pastor said, do not mourn what is lost. Celebrate what is left. Don't spend your life in mourning. Spend your life in mourning because every day that God gives you is a day that he has renewed joy, he has renewed strength, and he has renewed power in you. So believe in you more. That's step two. Step three, don't forget to pray before you start your day. Do not fast forward through this video to get to the prayer because you need somebody to pray over you this morning. Put your hands together and pray with your family today for yourself. This is my challenge to you this morning. Grab your baby, your husband, yourself, and pray for yourself. Pray that God would strengthen your faith. Pray that God would strengthen your power. Pray that God would strengthen your prayer life. And hey, just as a bonus, stop asking God for things and you won't read his word. It's kind of annoying. 
for me to get messages from you guys that you want to get connected to God and you want to figure out how to pray and you want to do all of this stuff, but you won't take the time to get to know him. Open your word. Read a scripture a day. Show him that you care, that you're willing to put your faith to work. This Monday is Me Monday. We're going to do everything that we can this Monday to make ourselves better, to reevaluate our priorities, to reevaluate our process, to reevaluate our purpose. Today is Reevaluate You Monday. Will you join me? Don't leave me behind. It's your time. Come on, be great. I pray that God show you how to please him so that you can be granted the desires of your heart. I pray that you understand that your life is an example of what you want from God. If you are not living a life that is pleasing to God, you will not gain the things that you need in order to obtain your purpose. So I pray that your desires meet God's desires. I pray that you connect with God in a way that is supernaturally intimate, that you become compatible with Christ. I pray that you understand that this is a union, that you and God are meant to be one, that he is living on the inside of you and that there is nothing that you can't do without him. I pray that you allow God to be before you and not be behind you or against you. I pray that God shows himself through you. I pray that you show yourself through God. I pray that every move that you make be instructed and orchestrated by the hand of the Holy Ghost. I pray that you understand that your purpose is not for you. Your desires are not for you, but they are to deliver someone else to get to their purpose. I pray that you understand that there is a mighty heavy weight on you and that the only way to get free from it is to cast it on to God. So I pray that you trust God enough to cast your cares upon him. I pray that you release yourself from any anger and bitterness from the pain that you've had to endure. I pray that you understand that God went through pain too and he overcame. So it's impossible Amen. to believe Faith is not an option at all What should I do If the storm of life is raging And it seems impossible